Hello, and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about more American English pronunciation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Consonant blends. Now, if you are a regular watcher of these videos that I make, you remember the one prior to this? It said consonant blends, but I told you that consonant blends were when we took two consonants, placed them side by side, and they made a new sound. Did you catch that? A new sound? No! A blend. Their sounds blend together. I wanted to put that little error in there yesterday so that today, when you watch this video, the word blend will stay in your mind. We're blending. We're putting two sounds together, but they're not making a new sound. Not a new sound. We'll talk about consonant new sounds and the word we use to describe that in a later video. But we're talking about consonant blends. Now, there were 20 pairs of letters we put together and we're going to talk about five of those pairs and additional words that they can be used in in this video. Then after this video we'll continue on till we finish all 20 of them. Alright? So we have BL. Remember B? What does it sound like? B. L. La. B. La. Bla. 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 Ank. A. N. 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 K. K. Ank. Ank. A. N. K always sounds like ank. If this was P. L. The word would be plank. B. L. Blank. Blank means nothing. Empty. It's not there. The shelves are blank. We wouldn't really say that. But we would say that uh, a line here, if there were no, if there wasn't a word on it, it would be a blank line. Maybe the person had a blank look on their face. No expression. Blend. B-L, blah. E-N-D. Now, E-N together normally just sounds like N, the letter N. D, duh. End. Like the end of the road, the end of the video. It's over, it's done. Blah, end. Blend. Like we use the word here. You blend two things or more together to make something else, right? Blend. A blend of fine whiskeys, a blend of tobaccos, a blend. Different things put together. Blind, B-L, blah, I-N-D. I-N is in. D, duh. But it's not blend. This changes. I-N-D sounds like eind. Eind, a long I sound. B-L, blah, blind. Blind is when someone cannot see. They have no eyesight. They're a blind person. Now, in modern times, we don't really say they're blind. We say they're uh, visually impaired, that sort of thing. B-R. B-R, B, B, R, R, B, R, R, R. You can hear both of those letters, and they kind of blend together. Bruh. An, A-N, an, like an apple, an elephant, an, C-H, ch, an, ch, an, ch, bruh, branch, branch. A branch? Tree. Trees. Think of trees, they have branches on them. Think of a large bank that has smaller banks with the same name scattered about the state or the nation, those would be called branch offices, right? Or maybe a large real estate company does that. Branch. B-R. I-D-G-E. It sounds like edge. Edge. B-R, bruh, edge, bridge. Do you know what a bridge is? A bridge. You have something cars drive on to get from one point to another. Usually it's because there's water in between it 
where there's a very steep crevasse uh, valley of some sort. And we build a bridge across those so you can drive across the bridge or walk across the bridge. B R bra bra A I N Ain Ain Bra Ain Brain The organ in your head is called a brain. And the brain is where your mind rests, right? That's where your mind is fixed in. Your brain is the organ though. Okay, now people make a mistake. A common name in the United States for a man is Brian. B R I A N. Ian, Ian, Brian. And many times people make a mistake when they write down the person's name and they write down brain. Like, well, I'm going to say hello to brain. No, it's Brian. Brian. Okay, here we have C L C. C K L La La O C K Ak Ak O K is K K K O C K is Ak Ak Kla Kla Ak Clock The clock on the wall tells us the time of day C L Kla Kla Here we have O's O's Now here Close like we're going to close the door, close the window. The store is closed. Okay? The O is long because of the E. The E gives it a long O sound. Did you know that? Close. Here we have cl, cl. Ever clever. If someone says that you're very smart, you're tricky, Maybe tricky, you're kind of clever, you're clever. Oh, he's a clever person. He or she can figure things out. They're smart, right? Cla, ever, ever. E V E R is the word ever. Like, have you ever eaten chocolate ice cream? Hmm. But this is clever, clever. C R Y, cra, k ra. Ra, the R sound. Cra, Y sounds like an I. Cry. If you're sad, you may cry. Boo hoo. C R, cra, and we have O W. O. It sounds like O in this word. A crow. Have you ever heard of a bird called a crow? They're all black, they're rather large. They're very noisy. Typically, you see them out in uh, rural areas where there's farms. They like to get in and eat the corn and they'll eat just by eating. Very smart bird. Their little larger ones are called ravens. The smaller ones are crows. They make a ka, ka sound. C-R, kwa. E-E -E in this word sounds like E. K sounds like k. K. R. E. K. Creek. A creek, think of it as a very small, narrow river. Very small. Something you might even be able to jump over. But it's not what we would consider a, a river. It's very narrow. Also, they might call it a small stream. But a creek works. DR, what sound is that? D is da, R is ra, dra, dra, S. E S sounds like S. Let's see, E N sounds like N, E S sounds like S. Dress, dress. Usually, if we say dress, we're talking about a piece of clothing that a woman wears. A dress is usually one piece and it's for women. Dress. DR, dra, again, dra. AG, what do you think AG sounds like? Could it be ag, ag, drag, drag? Okay, drag, now, 
perhaps you have a very heavy box or bag of something. Too, too much weight. It's too heavy. You can't lift it. So you, you drag it across the floor. Drag. DR, draw. Now, here we had Y sounds like I. Well, in this word, it sounds like I as well. So, can you sound it out? D, R, D, R, D, R, I, dry, dry. Perhaps you haven't had any rain in your area where you live for a long time and people are saying, oh my goodness, it's very dry outside. Or after you eat a meal, you have to wash your dishes. Do you set your dishes on the side of the sink? so that they can just drain off and dry in the air? Or do you take a towel and dry each plate and cup before you put it in the cup, or in the cupboard? Two different ways to do it. People do it different ways. All right, five, we have 15 more to go for the consonant blends. Remember, there are two consonants that come together blending their sounds together, not making a new sound, all right? That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.